Are you aware of the biggest cyber heist in history? Operation Aurora, a series of cyber attacks that occurred between 2009 and 2010, resulted in the theft of sensitive corporate and government data from some of the biggest companies in the United States, among which Google, Adobe, and Yahoo. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the background, methods, impact, and broader implications of Operation Aurora. So, buckle up, as we uncover the shocking truth behind one of the most sophisticated cyber attacks in history. Uncovering the Suspected Chinese Hackers of Operation Aurora The Operation Aurora attacks occurred between 2009 and 2010, targeting some of the biggest companies in the United States. The companies affected included Google, Adobe Systems, Juniper Networks, and many other high-profile organizations. The suspected Chinese hackers were believed to have been working on behalf of the Chinese government, although the Chinese government has denied any involvement. The hackers used a variety of methods to infiltrate the company's networks and gain access to the company's internal networks and steal sensitive data, including corporate secrets, government information, and personal data of employees. This information could have been used for economic or strategic gain, such as to gain an advantage in business negotiations or to acquire valuable intellectual property. The attacks on Google and other companies were a major wake-up call for the U.S. government and the private sector, highlighting the growing threat of cyber attacks from nation-states. The Operation Aurora case is considered as one of the first known APT, Advanced Persistent Threats, operations, and it has set the standard for the following APT attacks in terms of scale, complexity, and persistence. How Operation Aurora's Hackers Infiltrated U.S. Companies The hackers used a range of techniques to infiltrate the company's networks and steal sensitive data. One of the primary methods used was spear phishing, in which the hackers sent targeted emails to employees of the affected companies, containing malicious links or attachments. When the employees clicked on the links or opened the attachments, malware was installed on their computers, giving the hackers access to the company's internal networks. Another technique used by the hackers was known as a watering hole attack. In this method, the hackers compromised a website that was frequently visited by employees of the target companies. When employees visited the website, malware was installed on their computers, again giving the hackers access to the company's internal networks. The hackers also used zero-day exploits, which are previously unknown vulnerabilities in software. By exploiting these vulnerabilities, the hackers were able to gain access to the company's networks and steal sensitive data. The types of data that were stolen included corporate secrets, government information, and personal data of employees. This included intellectual property, source code, trade secrets, and sensitive personal information. The hackers were able to steal this data without being detected for a significant amount of time, allowing them to amass a large amount of information before being discovered. The sophistication of these attacks, the persistence, and the stealthiness of the hackers made it clear that the attacks were not the work of amateur hackers, but a well-funded and well-organized group with the resources and expertise to carry out a large-scale cyber espionage campaign. The Aftermath of the Cyber Heist The consequences of the Operation Aurora attacks were far-reaching for the affected companies and government agencies. The companies lost sensitive data and intellectual property, which could have long-term impacts on their ability to compete in the global marketplace. The loss of personal information of employees also resulted in concerns about identity theft and privacy violations. The attacks also had broader implications for the US and the global cybersecurity landscape. They highlighted the growing threat of cyber attacks from nation-states and the need for companies and government agencies to improve their cybersecurity defenses. The Operation Aurora also brought attention to the need for better information sharing between the private and public sector to protect against these kinds of attacks. The incident also showed the importance of having incident response plans in place, as well as the need for regular security training for employees. This is because the spear phishing attacks were only successful because employees clicked on the malicious links. In addition, the incident has sparked a debate about the role of nation-states in cyber espionage and cyber warfare, and the need for new international norms and agreements to govern the use of cyber operations. Conclusion, a summary of Operation Aurora. In conclusion, Operation Aurora was a series of cyber attacks that occurred between 2009 and 2010, targeting some of the biggest companies in the United States. The attacks were believed to have been conducted by Chinese hackers and had far-reaching consequences for the affected companies and government agencies. The incident also highlighted the growing threat of cyber attacks from nation-states and the need for improved cybersecurity defenses. We hope that this video has provided you with a better understanding of the background, methods, impact, and broader implications of Operation Aurora. 
If you found this video informative and interesting, please leave a like, write a comment and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us to continue creating content like this.